Good morning, everybody. We are on location again at the Imagination Station. I have the Chief Scientist, Carl Nelson, here, and you're already wearing your safety glasses. And I have a pair for you as oh, well. Oh, goody. Thanks, Carl. So what are we doing today? We're going to talk about combustion today. Okay, okay, one of your favorite things. Exactly. And this is really kind of cool because I, I got a new little twist on it today. Okay. I got a balloon filled with hydrogen gas. Oh, okay. Hydrogen right. is lighter than air. It's flammable. Right. I want you to just go ahead and bring that, that candle gently right to the side of the balloon, right in the All middle. Right, right here? Yep. Just bring it right in. Let's okay. just see what happens when you bring okay. that in. A little touch, further? Yeah, touch the balloon. That's okay. okay. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Wow, okay, yep. So I'm awake. It's combustible. <laughs> and see this, the um, the candle actually didn't go out no. either. Because that fireball that engulfed the flame allowed this to keep burning because the gas was combustible. Wow. Now before you showed up, I actually took a high-speed camera and filmed that balloon as it was being ignited. Oh, wow. And the cool thing that I think here, we do this all the time, but I've never noticed this before. Watch when the balloon breaks. It basically unravels, and that oh. powder inside is just talcum powder yeah, to keep the balloon. you can see that. You can see the actual airflow of the hydrogen gas moving towards the flame. Hmm. So it's just really sort of an amazing and a very beautiful demonstration of how that combustion process moves forward. Sure. Now, is there any reason why the entire balloon goes in one direction? It almost started to... Well, because the balloon is under tension, mm -hmm. right? You've stretched it. Sure. And we pop it on one side and it just peels back. Wow. Okay. That's but here, neat. go ahead and hold this for a second. Okay. Um, we're gonna, oh, this is empty. All right. I was getting this nervous. Is, <laughs> no, it's empty. But we're going to fill it with something. We're going to okay. fill it with a little bit of hydrogen gas, okay. just like you saw there. All right. We do something a little bit different this time. This time, um, we're going to fill this container with mm -hmm. hydrogen. I'm going to have you put one finger on the top right and that'll now. help, yeah, Kay. that'll help seal it. But in order to flush out all the oxygen in there, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you take your finger off for now. Kay. So I'm just going to let a little bit of this gas flow in and get ready to put your left finger up there. Yep, go ahead and seal it. Yep. And then I'll let the hydrogen gas flow inside our jug here. All let right. it go really slowly so we get the whole thing filled up with hydrogen gas. Now, hydrogen gas is a really good thermal conductor, so if you feel like a cold breeze coming past your hands, mm -hmm. that's actually some of the hydrogen gas. Oh. So we want to make sure that we got the whole jug filled up. Okay. And I think I got way more than enough. Okay, so don't take your fingers away. Keep them right there. Okay. Because <clears throat> oh, what boy. we're going to do is you're going to hold this level. Uh -huh. We don't want any of that gas to come out. We Kay. want the excess hydrogen to go away. Uh-huh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light this and then remove your left hand. Okay, now? Yep. Kay. Remove it. And I'm going to light it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Light the top and Woo. a little bit unexpected. Yeah, that a little bit. That entire thing ignited all at once. And it's crazy because actually this is a plastic jug. This is what, like a vinegar jug or something? And it it feels warm to the touch. I'm surprised it didn't melt. It, it, well, it happened so quickly. And what I was really shooting for here was I was hoping that we would have enough gas trapped inside and none on the outside. We'd see a tiny flame burning uh -huh. here and then it would drop down inside. Well, I didn't even look, but if you look very closely, I know we can't see this on camera, but you can actually still see. There's a little bit, I think it heated yeah. up a little bit right there during that combustion. Huh. So. Just some of the properties of hydrogen gas. It's very explosive. Yeah, um, very flammable. Very dangerous, flammable, right? dangerous. Don't try it at home, obviously. You probably don't have hydrogen at home, but I'll take the jug away yeah, from you. Yeah, who knew I was so. going to, you know, partially explode. <laughs> Still standing, awesome. This is something that you can do down the, uh, see down we to do, the imagination. We do this station. every day during a combustion demonstration. Our, our demonstrations are actually on a little bit of a hiatus right now. Okay. But we are doing other demonstrations in the lower level where we do things like this every day. So cool, cool science, whether it's explosions or chemical reactions, there's always something cool to see. Awesome. Carl Nelson, as always, taking my breath away here on the Imagine It segment. And just a reminder, it is Saturday. That means Lucas County children 12 and under get in free with a paid adult.